Hey guys, welcome back to another video on the channel. In this one, I'm going to be reading book four of Cat Kid Comic Club. This book is titled Collaborations, written and illustrated by Dave Pilkey. Chapter one, off to a bad start. Hello and welcome to another dramatic day of the Cat Kid Comic Club. I'm your host, Sarah Headoff. And today, 21 baby frogs will dive into creativity. This is Lil Petey and Molly. They're the president and vice president of this thrilling club. Tell me, are you excited about yesterday's enchanting, explosive, electrifying news? Yeah, yeah. Boom. Okay, cut. Remember how we talked about those one-word answers? Yeah, yeah. Well, this is supposed to be a conversation. I'm trying to make this interesting. So please stop answering every question with a yeah or nope. Talk to me. Elaborate. Express yourselves. So let's start again. And let's all try to be super enthusiastic. Okay, okay. Friday interview, take 12. We're back with Lil Petey and Molly. Molly. So, yesterday's news was very exciting, wasn't it? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Mm. Well, why don't you tell us about it? Um, okay. These four kids in our club are going to get their comic published. It's going to be a real book and stuff. And we're all going to work on it together and stuff. Okay, Molly, you don't need to put your mouth on the microphone. Just talk normally, okay? Okay. And stuff! Not so fast. Oh, look, it's Flippy. Flippy is the father of all 21 students. And me. Oh, yes, he's he's Molly's dad, too. What's up, Flippy? Unfortunately, there will be no comic club today. Why not? Because your bedroom is a mess. Can I clean up later? No. Now get going. Aw, oh, man. I never get to do anything. What did you say? I said, okay, Daddy. I'll go clean up my room. No fair! How come we all get got punished just because Molly didn't clean her room? Are your rooms clean? Um, no. No. Get in there and get to work! Ah, gee whiz! I'm going to do an ex inspection, and I better not find out that you've all shoved everything in your closets again, or under your beds. But... Daddy, it's not fair. We cleaned our rooms. Me too. And we finished our comics. But now we don't get to share them. It's the worst day of all time. Well, if you want, you can share your comics with our TV audience. We can read our comics on TV. Yes, for the whole world. Chapter 2, The Best Day of All Time today's, com today's comic is by Wendy and Ryan, who are working together on a serialized biography about their dad when he was a kid. I adapted the story and, and I drew the pictures on my computer. The, continu the Continuing Saga of Baby Flippy, based on a true story by Wendy and Ryan. When we last saw our hero, he was in big trouble. He had been captured by kidnappers, bullied by a blockhead, and slammed by a shipwreck. Oh. Bullied by, by, bullied by a blockhead, slammed by a shipwreck, lit up by lightning, zap, and swallowed by a shark. Baby Flippy was not having a good day. We're trapped inside of the belly of a shark. And it's all your fault. And it's all your fault, baby Flippy. You'll pay for this fish face, fish face, fish face, fish face. Suddenly, baby Flippy flipped out. He started to grow and grow and grow and grow. Roar! Oh no, that gamma rays in that lightning bolt must have supercharged his DNA. 
causing him to transform into a terrifying baby and to grow a pair of purple pants for some reason. Baby angry! Uh oh. Baby smash! Baby punch! Baby fish foot combo! <laughs> Whoosh! Oh, Booey, we're saved! Cling clong! Then. Come on, kid, let's get out of here! Swish! Baby Flippy and the octopus swam to a cave at the bottom. Jump! The sh that shark can't fit in this cave. So it, let's wait until it leaves. Try to la relax. Be more chill. Be more chill. Be more chill. Soon, Baby Flippy was back to normal. What happened? You flipped out. I did? Yep. Where are we? I don't know, but at least we're safe. But then, whoosh. What's happening? Oh no, this isn't a cave. Shh. Splash. It's a spaceship. Don't miss our next thrilling adventure. Baby Flippy in space. Wow, you sure lived an exciting life, Flippy. No, I didn't. None of that story was true. Yeah, we know. We spiced things up a little. A little? That, that story was all spice. We know, but your true story was China Boy. Yeah. Girls, just because you think something doesn't mean you need to say it out loud. Your words can be hurtful. Where shall we, Daddy? Okay. Hey, Daddy, uh, when you went to space, how did... I never went to space. Now get back in there and clean up those bedrooms. Hey, wait before he goes into Baby Hulk again. I never did that either. Okay, moving along. What can you tell us about your creation? It's a poetry comic about autumn. We made it together. In the autumn pond, Haiku showed Shodu and photos by Summer and Starla. In the autumn pond, every leaf casts a shadow. Each sound, an echo. The sun shows the way, but the sun is not the way. There's a difference. difference. Autumn days grow cold, yet in that winding downward promises appear. appear, appear. Each star shines brightly, sparkling crisp on frigid twigs, dancing in the breezes. breezes, breezes. Tiny scarlet leaf clinging fiercely to the branch. It's time to let go, 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 go. Little fallen leaves, your journey is not over. Now you are a path. Each solo character can have many meanings. These are some of the meanings we painted. Han, one meaning is to return. Kyo, sound or reverberate. 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 Together, thank you means echo. Echo. Can, seeing, show nature essence. Together, can show means to see one's nature from within. Yasumu to rest. Ran, disorder. Boo, dance together. Ran boo means bestorious dance. Mu, nothing in this case. It means although we may lose everything, new opportunities arise. Tabby, journey. Moo, nothing. In this case, it means although we may lose everything, new opportunities arise. arise. Tabby, journey. 
That was lovely, girls. I agree. It was beautiful. It's, it's just, it's just so sad that the rest of your siblings weren't able to see it. We saw it, Daddy. Yeah, it was awesome. Hey, you kids get off of there and clean up those bedrooms. Chapter 3, A Walk in the Woods. While the kids clean their rooms, Summer and Starla have allowed us to tag along as we dig deeper into the creative process. Click. How do you get inspired to make your haiku photo comics? Well, we like to walk around in nature. It helps us get it helps us get ideas and stuff. Click. Aw, oh, man. What's wrong? My finger got in the way. Click. Aw, oh, man. What happened? It's out of focus. Click. Aw, oh, man. What now? Oh. Click. Aw, oh, man. What now? The bug I was trying to shoot jumped away. Why are you so bummed out, Summer? Well, everybody thinks I'm a good photographer, but really, most of the pictures I take aren't all very good. Almost all of them are bad. I never show anyone my bad pictures because I only show the good ones. Um, I think all photographers do that. They do? Yeah, that's what I do. And I'm a pro. Really? Wow, I'm just like a pro. Star Starla, can you teach us how to write a haiku? Click, 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 click. Sure, they're just short descriptions of nature. Each poem has three lines, and each line has beats, just like music. Beat. Line one has five beats. The second line has seven. The third line has five. Do you only write haiku poems about nature? Um, no. Click, 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 click. You can write haiku, uh, haiku about anything. If you really look, everything is beautiful. Just open your heart. That's a lovely thought. You should make a haiku about that. I just did. Chapter 4. Gilbert and Curly Heed the Cat. 45 minutes later. All right, kids. I've checked everybody's rooms. You most, and most of you have done a pretty good job. You're all excused until supper time, except for Curly and Gilbert. Hooray! Let's go, boys. I thought you said you rooms were clean. We said mostly clean. How were these rooms mostly clean? All the ceilings are clean, and all of the walls are clean. Only the floors are messy. And it's, so in terms of surface area, the floors are just a small percent of the... I want those rooms cleaned up now! But, Daddy, we got... We get distracted! Yeah, we try to clean our rooms, but we always end up drawing or making comics. Alas, our hearts long to clean, but our souls must heed the call to cre of creativity. Oh, really? Well, that's too bad. I'm tired of your excuses, so I'll give you two choices. You can either clean your rooms with a good attitude or with a bad attitude. It's up to you. Really? Okay. I choose bad attitude! Rawr! I am Frogzilla! Come here, you puny crayon! How dare you defy me! Help me, please, somebody help me! You go in the box! Not the box, no! Where's my next victim? No, wait, please! Ha ha! You thought you could hide? No, I beg you! No, please, I beg you! You can't hide from Frogzilla? No! Hey, Gilbert, what? Frogzilla is a really good idea for a comic. Write it down, write it down! Sweet! Let's get started! Okay. Once, one time, a frog swam into some nuclear waste. Suddenly he began to grow. And grow and grow! Hey, Daddy, are those guys done yet? The comic club is having a big meeting. We're making a new comic, Molly. It's called Frogzilla. 
I bet you'll never guess what it's about. Um, it's about a giant radioactive frog who destroys the city. Hey! How did you guess? It just sounds like Godzilla. You can't just steal... You can't just steal someone else's idea. We didn't! Yeah, I did too. Wait, whoops. We didn't! Yeah, did too. Yeah, did too. Stealing is against the law, you guys. Molly's right. You can't steal... You can't take it somebody else's idea. Aw, oh, man! But you can make a parody about it. But you can make a parody. What's a parody? A parody is a humorous version of someone else's idea. Oh, so you're saying... Are you saying we can't copy Godzilla, but we can make fun of Godzilla? Yep, that's totally illegal. Let's make a parody! Chapter 5. The parody that relied heavily on the fair use defense of for forestall and liability for copyright infringement. Well, folks, the sun is set, and today's drama has slipped peacefully away. You kids get back in those beds right now! <laughs> and now it's Saturday, a day of hope and graceful beginnings. You kids get out of those beds right now! The comic club doesn't meet on the weekends, yet all of these kids continue to be creative after a hearty breakfast chores and independent reading curly and gilbert are busy putting those fi finishing touches on their last on their latest collaboration we're almost done gilbert's just calling the last two pages while we wait i need to ask what's all the what's the sign all about oh that's to remind us to remind you to fail no to remind us to not be scared of failing. You see, we make tons of mistakes, and this reminds us that mistakes are just part of the game. Yeah, mistakes can be fixed. Oh. You misspelled miserably. Yeah, we know. Okay, the color is all finished. Now we put the pages in order and stapled it in. Kachunk, 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 and it's ready to devour! Frogzilla. Featuring the Time Wasters, a parody by Gilbert and Curly. Once, one time at school, Felix and Jax. Pew, pew, pew. Stop wasting time. We're not wasting time. These, this, this video game teaches valuable life skills. Pew, kaboom, pew. Quick, smash the evil bunny, pow. Give me that phone. Aw, oh, man, what a rip. You boys need to do your science project. Here, dissect this frog. No fair, weak. Why do we all have to do? St why do we always have to do stuff? Yeah, but then, hey, what? We're frogs, so why are we dissecting a frog? Hey, I object on moral grounds. I object on weirdness grounds. Okay, if you refuse to do your work, then you can stay after school and clean up the science lab. Bogus, I'm calling the cops. And so, man, I hate cleaning up the science lab. Sweep, sweep, sweep. Me too. And what should we do with this dead frog? Just throw it away. I have no problem with that. Clunk. Hey, what should we do with this growth formula? Toss it. Glug, glug, glug. With this dangerous atomic waste. Bye bye. So wish. Two points. Now let's get back to our game. Pew, 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 pew. My turn. Pew, pew, pew. Rumble, 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 pew, 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 glub, glub, glub. Suddenly, from the depths of the trash can, the DNA of a forgotten frog morphed into, morphed with toxic radioactive goo to create life. Pew, 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 grrr. My turn again, pew, 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 Get those evil baby ducks there. I'm trying, pew, pew, grrr. Hurry, your health meter is running low. I know, pew, pew, pew. Roar! Hey, do you mind? We're trying to play a game. Crash. Pfft. Hey, Frogzilla just destroyed the school. And he made me lose all my lives. Pow, how rude. That was an important game. I know, we almost reached level nine. 
How can anybody be so selfish? Frogzilla must be stopped before he ruins someone else's video game. Beep, boop, beep, beep, boop, beep. What are you doing? I'm calling the cops for real this time. Beep, boop. Soon. Ring, ring. Sup. What? He did? We're on our way. Come on, dog man. Frogs, Frogzilla messed messed up some kid's video game. We need those jets. No way. But he was almost on level nine. And so, zoom, zoom. Okay, dog man, are you ready? Everyone is counting on us, so let's try our best. Not to make any mistakes. Chomp. Gulp. Oh no, Frogzilla just swallowed Chief and Dogman. Weak, bummer. Looks like it's up to you, Felix and Jack. Jax, you must save the world from Frogzilla. Aw oh, man, what a rip. Will Felix and Jack save the world? Can they rescue Dogman and Chief? And when will they ever reach level 9? Pew pew pew. Find out in our next thrilling parody. Frogzilla versus Mecha... Mecha Frogzilla. Wow, that was awesome. Thanks. I can't believe you made this in one day. Well, it was a lot of work. Yeah, when we started writing, our story wasn't very good. We re rewrote it two times, and each time it got better and better. So you failed miserably at first. Yep, yep, but we never gave up. If you want to be a good writer, you, have, you gotta have the courage to be a bad writer. Chapter 6. Business Partners. Meanwhile, yeah, yes, I understand. Hey, Daddy, Daddy, but what about Section 3, Article 5? Hey, Daddy, 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 Daddy. Hey, Daddy, can I talk to her? Please, Daddy, it's really, really important. I need to talk to her, too. Seriously, just put her on speaker, Daddy. Yeah, Daddy, Daddy. Hey, Daddy, I just need one, I just need to say one thing real quick. Hey, Daddy, 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 Daddy. put her on speaker so we all can talk. Daddy, can you please? Daddy, 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 daddy. Can I call you right back? Click. Get out of my office now! You heard the man, Melvin. Off you go. You too, Naomi. But daddy, I'm the director. And I'm the agent. We have duties and responsibilities. Now get, get out. No! But daddy, five... Four, three, two, one. Well, what did the publis publisher lady say? We don't know. We don't. We don't know. Daddy won't even let her let us talk to her. And it doesn't even. And it doesn't make any sense. Daddy wants us to be responsible, but when we try to be, he won't let us. How am I supposed to figure out my purpose? If I never get any responsibilities, I know. All we wanted to do was be responsible. Chapter 7. Melvin and Naomi get their chance. Meanwhile, we're back with the Hacker Brothers. Now tell me. So tell me. How do you make all of these cool... How did you make all of these cool toys? Um, well, we they all started off as broken toys. And we hacked them. Yeah, this... Like this... Yeah, like we took this baby doll head and stuck it on this wrestler guy's body. And we made an all new guy. How did you get his new head to stay on? We're using wire and hot glue. We use lots of duct tape too. I think it's called duct tape. Yeah, we know, but it's funner to say duct tape. While we hack our toys, we talk about story ideas. Then we write down all of our ideas and make a sketch comic. Some people call it red jet drafts, but we call them storyboards. We then set up our toys and take pictures. We try to make the photos look like the storyboards. Then we put it all together on the com on the computer. Let's take a look. Chubbs makes spider butt. Easy spider. Written and directed by the Hacker Bros. In our last adventure, the not very nice club was f f not feeling very nice. It's all your fault, Scott. First, you knocked Big Bubba head, Bubba's head off. Then you flattened it. Th 
then you went to the store and bought him a baby head as his as a replacement head. Now we have to call him Big Bubba Baby Head. Hey, don't call me that. Why? You sound very nice. But we're the Not Very Nice Club. Now quit your belly aching. Let's go to Heads R Us and buy you a new head for Big Bubba Baby Head. Hey! And no mistakes this time, okay, Scott? So, it's okay. Well, what are you waiting for? Let's go! Um, okay, don't rush me. Start the engine! Hurry, Scott, they're about to close. I sure wish I learned how to read. You know, I'm so glad we live so close to Heads R Us. It's the only store of its kind on Earth. If anything bad ever happened to that store... Oops, sorry. You know, I'm, I'm glad we live so close to Heads R Us. If it's the only kind of its store on Earth. If anything bad ever happened to that store... I'd be stuck looking like this forever. Thank goodness that will never happen. Click. Shook. Heads are us. I think I'll close early. Shh. Slam. La 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 la. Shh. Shh. Crash. Kaboom. Meanwhile, here's your tutti fruity vanilla kiwi froyo soda, Jake. You want sprinkles? No. What's wrong, little bud? I think we're too soft, Chubs. Really? Yeah, I mean, do you think Batman drinks stuff like this? No. Do you think Superman lives in a customized van with a built-in disco? I don't think so. Do you think Spider-Man has, has heated toilet seats and flashy neon signs? Probably not. If we want to be famous like those guys, we have our and we have our pictures on kids' pajamas, then we need to be hard. All we've done lately is eat sushi and play video games. Beep, 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 beep. Oh no, it's the spider computer. Come on, Chubbs, now's our chance. To the spider spring. Boing. Vroom. Remember, Chubbs, we've gotta be hard. Okay, but Jake? Yes, Chubbs? Weren't Batman's mom and dad killed brutally when he was just a little kid? Yep, right in front of him. And didn't Spider-Man's uncle get stabbed to death? Shot to death, but yeah. And didn't Superman's parents explode? They sure did. Along with 1.4 billion other innocent folk. folks. Wow, I don't know if I have what it takes to be that hard. Gee, Chubbs, maybe you're right. Maybe we're not ready for all that graphic violence. Hey, Jake, do you want to go back home for some sushi and video games? Okay, Chubbs, let's go home. Meanwhile, you you blew up the entire... You blew up the whole store! Nice going, Scott. Sorry. All my hopes and dreams have been reduced to ashes! Yet from these forsaken ashes... Rub, rub, rub. Rub, 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 rub. A mighty phoenix. A mighty phoenix has risen. A mighty phoenix has risen. From now on, you shall call me. Let me the mighty phoenix. Nah, we like Big Bubba Babyhead better. I told you not to call me that. It's not very nice. Come on, Scott. Let's go do some crimes. I'm serious! Come on, guys! Come back! Will the Not Very Nice Club ever win? Will our heroes ever be violent enough to appear on kids' pajamas? And will Scott ever learn to read? Find out in the next epic adventure of Chubbs McSpiderbutt, coming soon. That was wonderful! Thanks! Ding, 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 ding! What's that noise? Daddy's ringing the bell! Ding, 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 ding! Let's go! Ding, ding, ding. Please take your seat. Ding, 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 ding. I've got some very exciting news. The contract for your book has just been signed. What? How come we didn't get to sign it? Because you're children. Rats. No fair. 
was practicing my autograph all week. And the best of news is that you all just got paid. Wait, they pay us before we finish the book? Yes, it's called in advance. Now, most of the money is going to the, into the college fund. Aw, oh, man. But if you kids are serious about working together on this book, then I think it's only fair that you all get to enjoy some of the profits. Little Petey, Molly, here we are, Daddy. Please pass one envelope to each kid. And may both of you keep one for yourselves. Okay. Hey, I just got 50 bucks. Me too. So did I. We all did. We're rich. Hooray. Candy store, here I come. This is the best day ever. What? Only 50 bucks? We got ripped off. Me too. No fair. This is the worst day ever. Melvin and Naomi, come with me. What is the problem? Well, we think we should get more money. Because we've got more responsibility. Or at least we try. But you never let us. Oh, I see. You two would like to be more res You two would like more responsibilities? Yeah. Great. I'll be right back. Okay, here you go. What's this? My phone. The phone that both of you broke. Are you sure that was us? Yeah, I re remember in the... In yeah, in the last book, remember? You were both responsible for breaking it. So you can be respons both be responsible and get it fixed. Now you have the cash for to pay for it. But Daddy, we were talking about the boring kind of responsibility or the expensive kind. We were talking about the fun kind of responsibility. There's no such thing. Now take that phone to the repair shop and show me some responsibility. Chapter 8 the smallest act of kindness. Okay, kids. While Naomi and Melvin run an errand, I wanted to talk with all of you about giving some of your new fortune to help others in need. Like who? Well, there's been a shelter over in Bedford Falls. And they help lots of people and animals in our community. They give food, warm beds, and toys and books to anyone who needs them. What if you gave some of the money you just made? Okay, yeah. Would you all be willing to give five dollars each? Yep, sounds good. Works for me. Noise. I'm so proud of you, kids. I'm proud of us, too. We're awesome. Daddy? Yes, Poppy? Here. But that's all of your money. I know. But I already have food and a warm bed and toys and books. Poppy, I think you should keep this. Fifty dollars is not going to make that much of a difference. Here, Daddy. Here's a hundred. And another one. Don't forget ours. Yeah, take ours too. Here, Daddy. Here you go, Daddy. Bye-bye, candy store. I, I don't know what to to. Uh-oh. Daddy's getting the feels again. I think he's going to cry. Quick, we got to lighten the mood. What do we do? What do we do? Hey, I know. That's, I can read our new comic book to Daddy. Hurry! Run, little baby, run. Story by Billy. Art by Corky. Color by Pink. One time. Hey, Mama, I'm hungry, man. Okay, I'll call. Okay, I'll call the food restaurant. Beep boop beep. Ring ring. So, give me some food. What kind? Give me two large French fries and a super sized shake. I can't hear you good. We got a bad connection. Two large French fries and a super sized shake. What? I said two large French fries and a super sized shake. And make it snappy or no tip for you. Click. What's wrong? I think Mama just ordered two large French flies and a super-sized snake. Well, the customer's always right. And so, beep boop beep boop beep boop beep. Hello, friends. Oui, oui. Yes. Oui, oui means yes, yes in French. French. It's French. Do you guys, do you guys got any large flies? Oui, oui. Can I have two? Wee oui, wee. Oui. And so, French Airlines. It's actually Air France, not French Airlines. Did you enjoy your trip? Wee wee, wee wee. Great, now go to little baby's house and hurry. Wee wee, wee wee. Meanwhile, at the zoo. Hey, where are you taking that super sized snake? To little baby's house. His mama ordered it. Well, the customer's always right. I know. Soon. This is the right place, right? Wee wee, wee wee. Ding dong, that must be our food. It's about time. 
Little baby, it's for you. Little baby, I mean, little baby, it's for you. Run, little baby, run. Crash. Get, get him. Wee wee, wee wee. Run, little baby. The little baby ran and ran. I'm a hide here. That was a close one. I, I heard that. Now I've got you now, little baby. I'll use this helium. Clop. Clonk. Twist, 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 twist. Ta-da! Hey, large flies! Wee wee, wee wee. Check this out. It's a big dog. And guess what makes, and guess what big dogs make? Uh, grande caca? And what do flies love best of all? Grande caca! Grande caca, grande caca! Well, I'm glad that's over. I'm home, mama! Sweet. This calls for a celebration. Beep boop, beep boop, beep boop, beep boop. What's up? Give me an ice cream cone. What? Give me an ice cream cone, I say! Can you replace that bee? Please? Give me an ice cream cone! Click. What now? What's an ice cream cone? Beats me, but the customer's always right. And so. Um, little baby, it's for you. Scream! Run, little baby! Run! Are you still feeling emotional, Daddy? Well, I guess not. It worked! Hooray! Later. Thanks, Mr. Falcon. Looks like Daddy's Daddy's phone is almost like new. And we're almost out of money. But I'm not leaving empty-handed. Where are you going? What does it look like I'm going? Daddy said we're not allowed to eat sweets unless we ask first. Hey, Daddy! Can I eat a bunch of candy? Okay, ask. He can't hear you from here. That's not my problem. I asked, and nobody said no. I'm telling. Hey, Daddy, can I eat a bunch of candy, too? Chapter 9, Regrets. And finally, folks, Elle and their brothers, Quirky and Pink, have created a new comic. By photographing cookies and candy, we use frosting and gum to stick it all together. Sweet! Malo Cop, written and directed by Elle, Quirky, and Pink. One time, a marshmallow wanted to be a cop, so he paid a visit to Chief Candy Dispenser. What makes you think you can be a cop? I've got the sunglasses. Hey, that's offensive. There's more to being a cop than just owning a pair of sunglasses. I also own a mustache. Oh, well, why didn't you say so? You're hired. Soon, Mallow Cop had a, s a swell hat and a tiny pair of handcuffs. Sweet. Mallow Cop, I'd like, I'd like you to meet your new partner, Chuck Litbar. Sit, milk bar. Yeah. Now let's uh, let get you guys a cop car. Unfortunately, the only car we have now is this old clunker. We call it Grandma. Grandma Crackers. She's mostly Graham Crackers. Hmm. Chocolate, marshmallow, and Graham Crackers. That is. That something tells me. Will go very nicely together. We won't let you down, Chief. And so. Hey, Mallow Cop. So, what's up, Chuck? I got a funny feeling that this is all being a big setup for a really dumb joke about s'mores. What makes you think that? Warning, campfire ahead. Find out in the next thrilling adventure of Mallow Cop. Did you like it, Daddy? Yes, that was very clever. But I don't want you kids wasting food. We didn't. We ate almost everything when we when we were done. You ate all of those sweets? Yeah, I ate the grandma crackers my, all by myself. I ate the chief's desk, and I ate everybody else. Then we ate the fire, and the floors, and the kind of candy, and the smoke. Is that why you had three... Is that why you three had tummy aches last night? Um, I believe that was unrelated. I do not want you kids eating too many sweets. Why not? Because you always get sick. Yeah, it's funny at first, but later, oh man. Later, oh man, I wish we hadn't eaten all that candy. We had to, otherwise we'd have to share it with everybody. But, 
Those yahoos can buy their own candy. Yeah, they've got money and we're broke. Seriously, they should be sharing with us. Wait a minute. That's it! What's it? You're like everybody's agent, right? Yeah. That means everybody owes you 10% of their cash. Oh yeah, those kids owe me money. Let's go! And so, hey, you freeloaders, you owe Melvin five bucks each. Why? Because he's your agent, and agents get gotta get paid. We don't have any money. What? Why not? We, we gave it all to Wade. To where? To that shelter over by... Mm, I forgot where it is. They give f food and stuff to people and animals who need it. You gave all your money to help others? I mean, you gave all your money to help others? Yeah, we all did. Are we bad people? Well, I... <laughs> Poppy! Daddy said we're not allowed to spit water on each other anymore. He said, in the house. And you almost got his phone all wet. Sorry. It was just a joke. Were you guys crying? No! Sure, looks like you were. Well, we weren't. What's wrong, Plop? You wouldn't understand, Poppy. You're so sweet and innocent and stuff. But we've done bad things. Oh. I'm never going to figure out my purpose. Your purpose? I've been trying to figure it out for the last two books, but it's just too hard. Really? Mine was easy. My purpose is to make the world a better place every day. How do you do that? Well, I just try every day to be nice to everybody, to help them with stuff. To make comics and art, to protect animals and bugs, and um, to be thankful. Those are just little things, Poppy. How do they make the whole world a better place? Well, Daddy said it's like a petal. Seems small, right? But watch this. Flip. See those circle waves? Look how they get bigger and bigger. And all those circle waves bounce off of stuff and moves other things. Sometimes in ways we can't even see. They touch so many other things in a teeny tiny way. Because of that teensy weeny let because of that teensy weeny little petal pebble, the whole pond will never be quite the same again. Well, that's a pretty good purpose, Poppy. Thanks. You can borrow it if you want to. At least until you figure out your own. Chapter 10 Naomi and Melvin learn their lesson. Sort of. Soon. So let me get this straight. After you fixed my phone, you spent the rest of your money on chocolate-covered gummy worms? Yeah. It was her idea. And now you both have tummy aches? Yeah, yeah. Would you like some peppermint tea? Yeah, okay. And so. Why don't you take a few lumps of sugar? You'll take no sugar. Oh man. Can we have some ice though? Yeah, it's too hot. Okay, I'll be right back. Sugar, sweet. Lick, 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 plop, plip. Hey, look, circle waves. They're everywhere. Here's your ice. Plip, sip. Daddy, ah. I'm sorry we were such a pain today. Will you try to do better tomorrow? Yes, yes. Okay, then. As long as you both remember that I love you very much, even when you're a pain. I love you too, Daddy. I love you more. No, you don't, Bug Breath. I do too. I love him a thousand times more. Well, I love him 50 million times more. All right. You do not. do too. I love him an infinity times infinity plus 67,000 infinities. Enough. Well, I love him infinity cube times quinquad what? Quinquagin quad ringen tillard google plexus times seventy one. If you don't, if you two don't straighten up and fly right, you're both gonna spend google o plex infinity on the timeout rock. Well, folks, another day of drip. Of gripping drama has ended. Will the creativity continue? Will the drama in increase, decrease? And will Naomi and Melvin ever straighten up and fly again right? Find out in our next dramatic saga, Cat Kid Comic Club, book five is coming out soon. The end. So that's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed this book, and I hope to see you in my next one. Bye!